start streaming a whole hour early. Whole hour early. Who will be the first in the room? Jeff and I used to take bets on like who would be the first in the chat. Oh, dude, I used to race. I'm not gonna lie. When I first started watching you guys, because I would, I would go home. I had my whole like thing, and I'm like, all right, they're gonna start at this time, and I would refresh and refresh and refresh until you started. Swamper. Yeah. And then I would literally like be boring with you guys. I loved it. it That's was so such awesome. a good time. That's so awesome. Kids happen and the life. Yeah, and school and work. Right. What's up, you guys? Swamper, Tara, Kim, Lynn. We're all having an awesome day. We're having an awesome day. I have Christina with me, and she's gonna teach us how to do this bananas. Oops. Like, I was trying to. It's solar eclipse. Solar. It's a solar. Solar eclipse. Yeah. She sent me a video when she did before and I was like that's amazing but you should check her out on something Instagram I have it linked down in the description box already what's up Larry Stephanie so let's get started cue the intro Mary Ann yep gotta have the intro Scoot you up so you don't fall off, okay? All right. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. I need adhesive spray. What we're doing. Oh, for a time. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even know where you have it, so I don't know why I'm looking for it. The adhesive? Yeah. It's in that red spray bottle over there. Yeah. She looked tired, like going live on YouTube. Hey, y'all. Yeah. So I have no idea how she does this, but she's gonna teach all of us. Super easy. So we just started with a, a black face and a canvas. I usually do. Uh, I've been doing them on 16 by 20s, but it's gonna be fun to do it on a round. And then this right here is literally just holographic wrapping paper from Hobby Lobby. It's like seven bucks a roll. Or you can use vinyl, which will probably be way easier and stick down way faster. Right. And give her a flat, flatter surface, but it depends. Like if you want texture, this is good for texture. Also, this is cheaper than vinyl. Yeah, it's way cheaper and you get way more. So I'm just gonna... Manuel, Julie, Monica, Mako. Are y'all having an awesome day? I forgot it was Friday. I woke up not knowing. I feel like there's a faster way to do this. <laughs> no, see, it rips so easily. That's the hard part. So we can use an exacto knife. There you go. Whoops. Sweet. What are y'all working on today? 
people. What's up, Jim Germs? Jim Germs has the most beautiful photos. She lives in um, Santa Cruz. California. Okay. Oh, I should know that. With my sister being here. I'd kind of like to just crease it. So you know where to cut? Yeah. Smart. So that way I kind of just cut the axis off and then. Um. Hi, Julie. Tara, you're making a mini bar? That sounds amazing. Maybe I need to put a new blade in that. Here's what stack of them. Working on staying awake? What? Why are you working on staying awake? What time is it there? In Austin? Oh, that's where I'm at. Well, for the week. Yeah. Liquid crystal clear. That's going to be fun. Doing some casting. Not so awesome, half a day dealing with a doggy at the vet. Oh no, Kim, I'm sorry, I hope he's okay. Mm -hmm. Plus the excess off so we can just glue it down. Mm -hmm. Tara, that sounds amazing. Hope you're doing a video on that. Catherine the Paint, how are you? Ma'am. So is this the next step or do we? Yeah, we're just gonna spray it with the, the glue now. And do you have a flat, like car? Yeah, I have a this. That works. And a this. I like this one. Perfect. I'm, I'm sure there's words for those, but yes, these. Flat thingies. Everything is a this or a that until I figure out what it is, and I'm I'm probably still gonna call it a this or a that. It works. We know what you're talking about. Words are hard. Okay. Oh yeah, I get it. Ugh. Spray adhesive smell. We're using Super 77 by 3M. <laughs> it's on me. Yeah, I'm just gonna start. With I guess I didn't really need the flatty thing. 3,331 views. What did I say? 3,331. My birthday's 331. That's awesome. I can't remember what you said earlier. 27? 26? Someone sharing your stuff. That's awesome. This is, is it on TikTok. Yeah. Hi, Arlene. Yeah. Um, TikTok is where it's at. I'm so terrible with the exacto knife. I got so, you. Can you want me to do it? Yes, please. Can yeah. do. With that canvas, is I usually just glue it down the sides. So right. I'll make slits like in the corner and then glue the side so it kind of like covers the whole canvas mm -hmm. and goes around back so that I don't have to worry about exacto knifing it. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing that's so hard with like these, I feel like so many people like have asked me about the holographic wrapping paper and saying they can't oh find it. God at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. You're not gonna find it at Michael's, just Hobby Lobby and the party section. I think oh. what's so hard is when you first see it, it just looks silver. So you think you're getting silver. Um, We're doing an eclipse. Wow. Total eclipse. Right. Everyone's welcome for that. <laughs> Why did oh I know that gosh. was going to happen? What is that, like beet juice? I probably would have spit it out. <laughs> it looks like she just got shot in the I face. I know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so good. Why did she start laughing? 
She probably did that because it's beet juice and gross. Thank you, Pamela, for always remembering to remind people to hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit the like. Give me all your thoughts. <laughs> hey, Clara. What are you doing with the holographic paper? It looks pretty. We're making... An eclipse. An eclipse. But we need this for the, the base. Yeah. I don't know why I painted it black. Like, Well, it's just more for the edges because it would be really hard after you got everything down. To sure. Sure. But, and it might also help with the holographic come through. Yeah. So now it just looks like an awesome holographic mirror. Ooh, it's awesome. It is super reflective. Yeah. And then, I'm just going to take one of these. I don't yeah. know which side it is. It doesn't matter. Just try to make it as center as possible. Thank you, Manuel. I'm glad I'm not seeing by myself. What's up, Tim? Black? Yeah. Sure. Okay. I need black works. Next, we're going to take some black spray paint, cover up all of this hard work. Yeah. Um, there's two ways you can do it. You can spray from, like, the middle out to give it, like, a gassy effect um, mm -hmm. around the circle, or you can spray it from the outside in. So that way you'll create a nice clean circle. Like that glow? Yeah. Yeah, let's do the glow. So let's spray it. You want it in? So you want it like the, the one where I showed you. You, you yeah. liked the other one. The gassy one. Yeah. I like the one that showed a lot of this. the hologram. Yeah. And it makes it a lot more simple, so. Hi, cat. Okay, we're just gonna get started. Is that simple? Because um, my OCD, I would make it and then I'd be like, wow, that's really not, it's just like a quarter Throw it away. Yeah. Can you pick it up for me and we will put it on here and see if it's centered. So in pottery, y'all don't laugh at me. This is how you can find out if you're, what you're doing is centered. So now I can tell where that brown mark, or the, the graphite mark is, that it's yeah. not because it hit and nothing else did. So then I just push it in a little bit and then you try it again. That's so smart. I would never want to if I hadn't have been in ceramics, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have known. Hmm. Centering is like so important, it just takes a little hard. But now it's hitting like more, so it's yeah. more centered. So yeah, I'm gonna call that fairly scary. I'm so scared I'm gonna get spray paint all over your stuff. You're scared you're gonna get spray paint yeah, all yeah, over? Like all over. What? This is a working studio. You know how right. to get... Uh, okay, I don't wanna get it on these coasters. Are you gonna like explode it? No, but I'm just gonna... Cause you, we're pretty much just gonna try to get the edges of this is what's gonna happen. I gotcha. So, gotta aim. I can stay for a little while. Deal. What's up, cat? <gasps> Thank you, Lynn. Clara. Oh, I just saw Clara's, uh, her bubble thing. And I was like, that's so weird because I just messaged you about that earlier. Mm -hmm. Clara, did you use uh, UV resin or regular resin? On that one, we yeah. used quick coats. Quick coat? Okay. Because I... Right there. Okay, well we're gonna have to discuss it. Yeah, we'll discuss it. Later. But that was a quicker setting resin. Okay. You'd be scared too because you're messy. The center part may be centered with your lady Susan and not the silver round. That's a good point. Ooh, yeah. Because I didn't center. Yeah, see. 
Good thinking. But it looks still centered. It does. So I think it's we're gonna call it centered ish. Alright, so pretty much all we're gonna do is just try to spray the edges to give it like a gaseous kind of look with the black paint. And you can bring it in a little bit or keep it out as far as you want, but I like a lot of holographic. So I'm just gonna go around the edge. And you just kinda use this as a guide. Makes sense. And let me see if you like like that even glow. I like it. I like it. But you got a little bit shining through. Right there. there Sweet. Can we put heat on this or will it do something to the um to the paper? Yeah. I haven't had any problems. No, it doesn't like curl up or it might. But I'm not sure. And I like leaving it kinda tacky just for the um, pigment. Gotcha. So reason. let's not do what I was doing. Okay. So now we're gonna do this. Or do that. either one. Because okay. we What's next? still need to um I will probably draw a circle because I just guess it at home, and then I make a terrible circle. So we just really need to trace this. Okay. With this overspray, it looks like, though, you'd be able to see roughly the circle. Yeah. It, you, yep, you can still. But it's just for those who need a little. I need help. I'm gotcha. Because when I'm painting, I would really have to have that sorry, strong line. Sounds good. What's right. next? And then we do black Looks like a record. And the holographic glitter. So you don't really need a lot of black paint, just enough to color that in. Which is super nice. Okie dokie. I love how I keep like looking for stuff like I'm gonna find it. Perfect. It looks like a record. It did. It's gonna look even more like a record. I don't know what it is about this like holographic next to black, but it's one of my favorite oh, things. Yeah. I always tell people my favorite color is rainbow and black. So pretty much holographic. We're using JR Halo Silver. And so you're not concerned about the opacity of the five letter word score. Yeah, like the opaqueness covering up the glitter. You never had that problem? Nope, I just put a bunch of glitter in. Makes sense. Center part may be centered by your lazy Susan. Clara always thinks for me because I just kind of do things. And she's like, no. yeah, we're just, we're, uh, what's that word called? We improv. Just, Improv's uh, good. I'm off the cuff. Yeah. Thank you, Pamela. You need more glitter? Yeah. You never have too much glitter. Right. And glitter is always an option. S W A R. Yeah, you don't have to do glitter, but well, why it not? sure makes it pretty. Yeah. You already have the holographic things. The shiny. Yeah, this paint is not gonna be sticky by the time Yeah, we get to the So we may have to just add a little bit more. So how did you come up with this uh, process? Um, 
it's actually weird. Like, a lot of my inspiration comes to me from, like, visions that I get, like, before I go to sleep. Like, I will just, like, sit and I'll think about colors. Mm -hmm. And so one night I was just sitting there and I saw, like, this holographic, like, smoke or haze or gas just, like, kind of dancing around. And it was pretty much just staying at the bottom. It was pretty boring. And then it, like, came up and it started circling around so that it was only coming out. Like, so the inside the circle was completely black. black. Right. And then the rest was, like, just holographic smoke. And I was like, I have to paint that. And then I realized that's a that's a solar eclipse right there. Or if you're into Supernatural, visions. the earlier ones, uh, <laughs> Supernatural Storm, or what's the other one? Heroes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I wish I got vision. Are you going to use it again? I probably will not. I think I made too much black paint too. So I'm sorry. Oh, it's craft paint. Okay. Perfect. So this is this is the hardest part for me is just getting that that circle. Let it is a a nice yeah. If you have a paintbrush or something, that might be a little easier. Oh, you want a paintbrush? Yeah. I was thinking, oh, there's some flat ones in front of you. Alright, so I'm just gonna use a flat sure. brush. Hi, Cameron. How are you? My hands always start to shake when I'm like doing this. Let me know if you need a tag out. I'll help you. Oh yeah, gosh. if you want to tag in. I don't because this is like my least favorite part is how oh. I'm so OCD about getting everything perfect straight lines whatever even though it's like it's nature and it's gaseous so it doesn't need to be perfect so right if you want to try it don't worry about it but I just I'm so OCD not OCD has OCD You got it. I am not OCD. Yeah. Anytime I try to concentrate or try to like do like nice uh, lines, my hand shakes. I can't do it. I could never have been a surgeon. Luckily, when I need something nice, I just have Jeff do it. Yeah, Jeff is impeccable. His line works awesome. I like, I see some of his um, airbrush work and I'm just like, how? I don't know how he does it. I um, think he sold part of his soul or something. Yeah. Has to be. There's no other explanation. Maybe he's just born talented. Yeah. His stepdad's really talented too. He does He's metal like, work. Oh, have you seen like the guy that paints with heat on copper? I have not, but I've seen the guy that basically paints with smoke from fire. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I saw that guy too. He's awesome. Probably paintbrush wire at this point. Yeah, the only problem with it is like you you have to get a couple layers down because it doesn't like to stick on the first layer.
too. I just go to the, I go to Lowe's and I buy like um, pine board. Yeah, just the boards that you can use for like stool seats or tabletops or. Mm -hmm. a white something to name to show, show something you regret buying, then show it what you turn it into. They turn it into a pillow and a throw rug. <laughs> Dumb. just don't obsess like you, you said that you get really it has to be perfect and I'm like yeah <laughs> and then it slows me down because I'm like wait no I overthink I don't really move bye Clara bye Clara hey TG what do you mean what happened Or do you mean what happened with what Jeff's talking about? He's on TikTok. I told you guys I lost him to TikTok. Oh my gosh. Oh. I guess I could have painted it first. Let's see what you got. Painted what first? The circle. And then done this. But to be fair, the first one I did like this, I didn't do the color shift pigment, so mm -hmm. I just worked from the outside in. Well, this will be just perfect. It would have taken Jeff like four seconds to to spray that in. Yeah, it would have been like done. You can draw a perfect circle. I don't know. No one can. Just it's done. Just, yeah. The only one. It's like those weird people that can go up to the chalkboard and they He is having a good time over there. Oh, he does that. Or you like just Yeah, I can't do that. I think it dislocated my shoulder. It was strange. You can do it with his wrist too, just. Mine looks like a football, but like a flat football. So it's not even a football shape, it's just shapes. Yeah. That just don't make sense. Yeah, I can't draw the same thing. I'm sure if I practiced, I could do it, but. I just stick to abstract. It's more fun. I think with abstract, for me, I like doing things that aren't supposed to look like things. It's less stressful. But it's weird because with Jeff, he gets stressed about it. Like, he's been a portrait artist for so long, he didn't yeah. enjoy the fluid work in the beginning because he is so used to it like I have an idea this is my reference I'm gonna paint this and then it's gonna look like that and then that's it realism so when we started doing abstract work he was like could not wrap his head around it it's a good idea well she I, so I don't see the Pokemon but that gave me an idea what if he did something like this and then drew the Pokemon, the Pokemon. That would be kind of cool. TG, what Pokemon? Yeah, that would. Well, Jeff's going to take this thing and, like, get extra with it and do, um, 
like do a vinyl cutout instead of just a circle and have like pokey glow. You didn't type what? Lynn said, I can't draw a perfect circle with a stencil. You're not alone. Me either. Jeff is talented, but Erica, don't underestimate yourself. You're all very, very talented. Thank you, Tara. It's usually your internet connection, but sometimes it's my internet connection that causes buffering. So it helps me out a lot when you guys tell me some of you are buffering and others not. So there's brush strokes, which is why I pulled this sponge in the beginning okay. to yeah. avoid the, the brush stroke lines, that texture. But seeing that, I'm like, what if yeah, we gave it moon texture? Right. Because that's why I like my other one has brush stroke lines, and I like it because it gives it a little texture. And mm -hmm. yeah, and that's it. If I had no, her she was buffering on her at her house. It, every, everyone else is saying they had no buffering. Hi, TG. Um. If I had a something, one of those ocean sponge. Oh, like a sea sponge? Yeah. That would give you a good moony texture, but I don't think I have one. Yeah. It would look good, but just because it's an eclipse, it's supposed to be like, oh, that's good. That's what I I thought you were saying like with like maybe a different color, but well, obviously you want to keep it black because it's an eclipse. Yeah. Black. Am I painting it black? You're painting. Are you painting that black? Is that what that is? Yeah. yeah. What's your uh, what question? I was going to yeah, say, I'm why are you asking me questions? What's weird? I don't know what you had something to sit on top of it. Nope. I just created a black hole. That's the power of illusion. Right? Yeah. Means I'm doing my job. Okay. There we go. That, that's awesome. I like that. Just get a little something. I never hide issues in my work. I'm just like, let's just yeah. highlight it. I do. Like, I totally always try to, like, outline my mistakes because I'm like, everybody tries to hide it. I'm just going to highlight everything I did wrong. We're going to make it a choice. Yeah. Okay? Sweet. We've got a moon currently covering the sun. Sick. What's next? Then um, we'll just have to let it dry, and then um, if you want to respray, or if you have any, I don't know how we could do this, because I don't want to spray more black and then get it more covered. Sure. So. Um, so even if we did like the, just a clear with a lacquer, real quick. I have a, a gloss. Yeah. Oh, that would be perfect. Like a clear gloss spray. The only thing is, I don't know if we, we're going to have to try to not get it on this part because I don't know what it'll do. It might shrivel it up a little bit, but that'll be fine because if anything, it'll add texture and then give you uh, more shiny angles. So we're going to just try to. It's so smooth. Okay. We're not going to do all over. Yeah. 
So this is what we're using? Mm -hmm. Should we have it going? No. We should have it going out. That's how I go. So I'm like super, like, I just use what I need. Okay. Pretty much. So I just gather it up on the paintbrush and then literally like. Okay. I'm gonna turn it because you have to blow it in the. Oh my gosh, you have to blow it in the direction. It's not Where after dark, people. <laughs> But if you want to get precise with it, yeah. use a paintbrush. Yeah. But I like it more scattered anyway. I guess I feel. I'm just an all over happy gal, I guess. Oh, there you go. Look at you thinking outside the box. I'm just super hands on. So let's even do like, yeah, like little, like darts of it. Little star seeds. Star seeds. Oh, sorry. This is Bad Apple Chameleon by Too Faced. You can get it in our shop. Our shop. Or sure. sure. Words are hard. I try to tell everybody, but then you don't know. level galactic art here, people. I really like this. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I thought about doing that too. Though. Just a little bit, like on the edge, just pulling it so there's like directional. Erica the DJ. Erwer, erwer. Okay. Because it's an eclipse. It's where the moon covers the sun. Nice. That'd be, that'd be really cool for like a northern lights to me too. Oh yeah. Just sprinkle it on and yeah, because it, it looks it like out. that. How's it sticking? Um, we sprayed some lacquer first, clear gloss. Are you asking what is making it stick, or are you asking how well the sticking is working? We use spray gloss. So, this looks so fun. You guys can't even see all the colors that it's shifting through. Hey, Sue. I don't understand why you put this down if it's covered all up. I mean, I guess it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, the, the paper is cheap, so you can use a lot of it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And then you can, if you cover the whole thing, you can have as, as much holographic or as little holographic as you'd like. Mm -hmm. It gives you the option to... Because personally, I probably would have liked to have more holographic. Mm -hmm. But I sprayed a little too much. 
but I like it. So what's next? Uh, that's pretty much it. You just cover it with resin at this point. But if you want to make sure that your uh, pigment stays down, I usually just spray it again with another clear coat of spray paint. Okay. There you go. Look at you. And it's really, it's quite simple. But I've done it on like serving trays and people love it. A lot of times it's the most simple things that, that people will go crazy for. Mm -hmm. You know, when I'm overthinking things, I always have to tell myself to, you know, the kids method. Mm -hmm. it's simple, stupid. Sweet. So now we have that green, blue, holographic chameleon ship. I'm sure you guys aren't going to be able to see that from just one angle, but yeah. is Christina wearing an Indiana shirt? I sure am. That's my hometown. I Well, I live in South Bend, Indiana. Mayor. Right now she's here. Yeah, I'm here. I'm in Austin right now just visiting uh, some family, so maybe you want to get down there. Hi. I don't know if you guys know Mayor Pete. That sounded super country. No, Pete to judge. He was running to be president. I missed it. He was the, the gay, um, the first openly really gay candidate. I guess it would have been really cool. I mean, I guess. Just because he's the mayor of my town. And we're like, yeah, dude. Maybe next Come time. Mayors. Yeah, now he's, he's like the in control of traffic, which I don't get because all he did for South Bend is put in like a million roundabouts. Roundabouts are all of them. I hate them so much. But I, Mayor Pete is awesome. Because he was really... Yeah, he. I've met him a couple of times in person and he's a really, like, he's a really great guy. Having a great guy as mayor is super awesome. Yeah, it's hard because a lot of people picked on him and just like pointed out everything he did wrong. Well, that's every presidential candidate. They probably went on him a little bit harder though, for reasons which doesn't make sense Are to me. Are we college friends? Are we college friends? <laughs> we went to different colleges together. We definitely did. That's a and we were roommates in separate dorms. Separate states. Yeah. Um, no, she's spam, and so I yeah, like her I've work. Been, yeah, watching you guys for a while. I just haven't posted a lot either. Yes, they are. They're the uh, the cutest couple. I was gonna ask if that is husband. Yeah. I like the corona around the sun. Oh, you're using technical terms. For a second, I was like, is that a COVID? Anyway. Yeah, no, he is. He speaks like, I don't know how many different languages, but any story I've heard of him, it's always like he goes to help somebody out and then it's like this person doesn't speak a language and he's like, I got it. Like I Portuguese, like, he's, he's so intelligent. I would love to know a second language. My dad knew seven. I'm working on Spanish, but I'm not gonna make a fool of myself. I was gonna say, are you gonna? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's still a work in progress. The whip, that's fine. I like Corona with lime. Of course you do, my mom. I think, I don't know. If you can drink a Corona without a lime, it's probably a law or something. I don't think I've ever. I've never had seen a one without. You've never had a Corona. No. I, I don't. I don't drink beer, but 
I have never seen one without a lime. That's yeah, the only thing. yeah, you have to. That's that's the rule. Is it covering up the flavor of the Corona? Because this is not a Corona jab. It's just, all beer is gross to me. So I just wonder if the lime just same. I'm just good with Fireball. I can do hard seltzers and wine. Also Fireball. So we're mixing up Stone Coat Art Coat to uh, protect our Eclipse. Uh -huh. We should have done a heart instead. Anyways. That would have been cool, but then I don't think people would have got it. They're like, why? Because why it's so close to the heart. Pacifico that is the is best. so... It took me a minute. I Sometimes I'm a little slow, but that was good. Love it. I thought you know to E plus Spanish. I can understand Icelandic, but that's not really common. So like, I'm never going to hear someone like walking up the street speaking Icelandic being like, I know what they said. I see it on that geo a lot. I can, I know what they're saying. Technically, oh, you read it too. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, the lime is to keep flies away. No reason to actually use it otherwise. Vamp, is that fact or... Fact or cap? I need to know these things. Fact? What? Austin says lies. Wow. Challenge accepted. You're welcome, Swamper. Do you know Icelandic? You don't know. Do you know Icelandic? It's all fact. I don't know that many German words. I wish I learned while my dad was still around. Because he's from Germany. Yeah. Nobody in my family speaks another language. Even though I lived in Panama as a little kid uh, when I was 16 for a summer. I learned a little bit there, but then I lost it. I was going to say, you didn't pick up anything? I learned more like that they had these Indians and Na uh, Native Americans there. They were called Kuna, and um, so I learned that language. That's more rare than Icelandic. It's yeah. awesome. It was fun. I think that's super awesome. I want my kids to know more than English. Yeah, I'm trying to teach my kids Spanish because my neighbor is Spanish. And that's why I started learning. He needed a job. So he asked if I could get him a job at the liquor store I was working at. And I was like, sure, I'll get you a job. I said, but one condition. You know, you teach me Spanish because most of the customers there were Spanish speaking, and I wanted to kind of be respectful of them. Sure. Well, that's a lot of incentive to be taking as. That's just not a job that most people are like. I need to learn like a new yeah. job, a new language for. That's why they liked it so much. But I'm like, I feel like if you're gonna learn English. I just hate when people are like, you're in America, learn English, whatever. Like, no, how about we learn Spanish? Because I just out of respect for them for taking the time to learn our language. We can, I don't know. I think you should be respectful of all cu cultures and languages yeah. and no matter what someone speaks, you should, you know, just try to be kind and you can communicate. It's cool. Yeah. That's why I was like, I have all the resources right here. Why not? Y'all, this thing looks so cool with resin on it. Uh, I think all my texture from my moon is gone, but that's okay. You're doing such a good job. I'm just like standing it's my here. First um, now this is your style, and you guys, if you haven't checked out her Instagram, do it. 
She's who inspired my Labradorite piece, which I will post a video on soon. I'm waiting on Rhonda to send me the like final video of how it looks because I had to leave the same day we did it. Dude, it looks so good. I think everything I'm gonna do from now on will be on a lazy season because it's just so convenient. Lazy. Yeah, that's how I do it. It just makes it so smooth. Okay, sign language is so amazing. I wish I knew more than just like the alphabet and how to like do the Pledge of Allegiance or whatever, but. I did not add glitter to the clear. We added glitter to the paint. So you can't even realize yet. Let me do a true color video for y'all. Uh, yeah. Well, the, and the glitter gives it a little bit of texture too. Mm -hmm. uh, y'all aren't even gonna know that this is the same. It's probably better without the flash. Check it out. No, nope, gotta have the flash for the glitter that's on it. Yeah. In this video, you can actually see the color shift. It's green over here, and blue over there. Then we've got that rainbow look. In the center, we got glitter on our moon. So told all the kids around. You're welcome, everyone. They want to see the holographic paper. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said Arlene wants to see the oh, holographic paper. Oh, I know. Paper. I wish I hadn't sprayed too much. But that's why we covered the whole canvas, so like, if you want to see more, you can spray a little less. I was just going kind of quick, so I covered a lot of it. Yeah, but you guys can give this a shot. Make sure you tag us in ATD's Poor People. Mm post this video for you guys to see what it looks like IRL. Right. You guys got to check it out. or something. Yeah. Now you guys have a whole roll if you because I probably can't travel with that anyway. No? We'll take it. And and like I said, uh, one thing I do with the holographic um, paper, it's really easy and it's really easy like to work with. You can do so much with it and just use a glue adhesive to like spray it down. You can it's cheaper than vinyl and you get so much of it and if you want more of like a filmy look all you have to do is soak this in water and the paper will come off the back so you can kind of use that for whatever you want it's a crazy awesome pro tip crazy awesome yeah so you guys are there any questions you guys have before um, we 
in the feed. That piece is really neat. Thank you, Lynn. Christina is still very creative. Easier said than done. Thank you. That's a lot Thank of fun. Thank you, Kat. It is a lot of fun. So, y'all, we gotta say goodbye. More cool, cool. But we'll see you guys. Tomorrow's gonna be a full day. We got wedding in the morning. Not mine. Friends. And then have Jeff put a UFO on it. Love that idea. I like that. Yeah. And then something. Oh yeah, Tudor's having an Easter party tomorrow night. And somewhere in between, I've got people coming in for pickup. So tomorrow won't be on a regular schedule. It's gonna be surprise live at some point. Surprise. So you're going to Dallas tomorrow. What? If I didn't have such a swamp day, I'd say come by. So anyways, um, check us out in all these places. Y'all, I did it twice, like two days in a row. I remember that it's over there. Because so, it's it's backwards. You, It looks it's like I should go this way, but it's... No. If you want to check out Christina on Instagram, her link is down in the description box below this video. Boink, boink, boink. Check her out. Um, and be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. Never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests. So you don't have to. That was a good one. Don't you think? Yeah. You need to throw something. <laughs> to, I, I like to talk to him. I'm probably going to have to get another like TikTok and just message him or something. Yeah. I mean, you guys can just make TikToks where you're talking to each other and then. Duetty each other. Duetty. Duet duetty. I meant to say duet each other, but I said duet e each other. Mm. <laughs> I spaced it. Words are hard. Anyways, so, you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See ya. Bye. I said bye. He's fired. He's totally fired. Yeah.